Hello, kittens. Let's see. Looks like it's down to 77 degrees in the room. We're going to do the weigh-in now. Hello, madam. Kind of sitting in a different position. Well, that hopefully has not been peed on as many times. <laughs> uh, let's see. Come sit there. You're just like a kitten, always getting in the way, always getting in the way. Pull up the cam and see how much you guys can see. Not too shabby. I'm kind of blocking the scale, but I'll do it this way this time. It's an interesting kind of a shimmering orange light on my jeans. Let's see if it's showing up on the cam. Yeah, it is. I just got in. Okay, let me go back to the preview. You guys keep blocking things. Um, I'm looking there. <laughs> Try doing that with your cat. Some of them really, really like it. 
Okay. Well, that's interesting. I understand what's going on. I think it's the resolu uh, cam resolution along with the pattern of my jeans is causing I forget, I forget what it's called, but it's where a bunch of squares, yeah, I can't even scrap it either. Yep, yeah, goes away once I get closer. Okay, let me try this. When you have a grid of squares and you draw a line, let's say, Mom, you're blocking my example. Okay, think of this as filled up with hundreds of squares each direction. If you draw a line, a straight, take a ruler and a pencil, draw a line from here to here, and keep doing that slowly moving over a little bit this way so you're drawing a bunch of lines like that and you only fill in the squares that the lines cross it generates that sort of pattern on, that was showing up on my knee i've just never seen it before on cam <laughs> Shimmering orange pants. Yeah. If you look at my pants leg, you'll see the it's kind of like an orange shimmer. Uh, if mom wasn't in the way. right here unless you're like colorblind yeah more um more or more whatever pattern yeah my wife way <laughs> whatever <laughs> She's going to kill me in a second. Or two. Yeah, kill the ball instead. Kill the ball instead. She's happy. She is purring so hard. Oh, don't take it out on kitten. Don't take it out on kitten. <laughs> Sorry, Echo. She was gentle, though. I'll give the kitten some wet food and try to trick echo some more I got her to lap up some formula last time okay 
Are you guys ready? Let's see if she's in heat yet. Nope, not in heat. This is just happy butt. Now, if I was grabbing on right here and she started doing like a dance with her high feet, and she's going into heat. <laughs> You spook yourself. Cody had it caught his foot on the spring, and the, and the spring hit the fence, made a noise, and he was like, "Bunk!" You see what happens when you sniff your mama's butt? You make her jump. Tiny little echo. Let's see what kind of weird weight gains you guys have today. I've seen really big gains and then losses and then gains and then losses. But the net result is gain, so that's good. They're in the transition period where they're getting onto food, but mama's um, weaning them early. Probably because they're a little bit rambunctious at the milk bar with only with six kittens and three seats. Uh, who peed on my scale? Who peed a lot on my scale? you pee on my scale you got wet paws somebody stepped on me with wet paws <sighs> who are you okay Rex you're gonna be first let me get the scale ready first though Looks like Echo wants to be weighed first. Ow, don't bite my toes. Yesterday, Echo weighed 12 ounces even. Went from 11.7 to 12.4 to 12. Today, she's 12.8. So she gained 0.8 ounces. Which is a crazy game for her. Let's see how, who has almost no gain because they're the ones who peed, one who peed on my scale. Okay, yesterday Rex was 15.9 ounces. Sixteen point eight today. Now Echo is now. Let's see how many grams. Three hundred sixty-three grams. Cody, I mean Rex, is four hundred and seventy-six grams. Okay, Cody, your turn. Is mommy scaring you by scratching in the box? Okay, Cody. Yesterday, Cody was 21.4. 22 ounces. So Cody gained 0.6 ounces. Now weighs six hundred and twenty-four grams. 
Can you ready fives? Give me five. Give me five. Yay, give me five. Fives gave me five. Okay, fives weighed 17.4 ounces yesterday. 493 grams. Okay, everybody out from underneath. That made a difference. 17.9 ounces. Mama pooped. Whew. Oh, cover that, please. Mouth closed. <laughs> Thank you for covering that. But you know that initial shock wave. Oh. Anyway, fives gained half an ounce. Now weighs five hundred and seven grams. Yes, I would run from that too. <laughs> I can get. Well, let's see what she weighs. Seven point six pounds. Yes, she just lost point four pounds taking that dump. Okay, Maze's turn. No, 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 kitten. That's why. Yep, that makes a difference. Okay, maize was 17.8 ounces, 505 grams. That's Cody. There she is. Or I can't get to her because she's behind the door. Eighteen point four ounces. So she gained point eight ounces and now weighs five hundred and twenty two grams. Okay, now for Keely. Keely weighed sixteen point three ounces yesterday, four hundred sixty two grams. Sorry, Mom. We slipped. Seventeen point four. That's a big gain for Keeley. So she gained 1.1 ounces. Interestingly enough, she lost 1.1 ounce yesterday. So she's back to 493 grams. It's interesting to see that even even now everyone except for Cody and Echo are just within ounces of each other and where Echo is underweight is about the same that Cody is overweight. Just basically a three ounce difference between the other kittens. What are you doing to my pants? If 
I have not tried bribing um, Echo with tuna, though I did give her some uh, cod and ocean fish, which has been, which is what I use for problem kitties. And I did get her to lap up a formula mix with that. Hello, Nala. <laughs> Nala's getting one of her playful streaks, or chewing on me streaks. <laughs> She's playing on the other side of the fence. What you doing, fives? Give me five. <laughs> Give me five. Yay. Actually, he was giving me grabs, but totally counts. He still he keeps trying to face me when he's doing when he's playing, and I'm trying to get him to face the camera. Yes, I use Royal Cannon. It's donated to Perfect Pals. Royal Cannon Baby Cat. Get him, Rex. Or Cody. Get him, Cody. There's Echo underneath the scale. Keely is soft. So is Maze. Rex and Fives are kind of like. So they're soft with a little bit of coarseness in their fur, probably from the tabby jean. Same with Cody. Yes, I don't normally accept donations. If you want to donate something to me directly, please contact me first. Unsolicited donations that I receive are donated to the shelter. I have a P.O. box that you can send to. So if Perfect Pals get something, that's usually told, they're told to keep it. The main reason why... Let the CCR catch up. The main re reason why is when people donate to me something, there is an expectation that the item will be put on cam. And I can't always do that. 
So I ask people to contact me first for approval. He licked my nose. Yes, now I also only have so much room in here. I already have current toys, and if I keep adding more toys, you know, I'm more inclined to say yes for toys that fit the theme of the kittens, but again, still contact me first. Okay, let's wind Rex up. Go, 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 go. Shoot. Go. Boom, boom. Let's go like this. Release. <laughs> Bam. Let's try Cody. Boom. Uh oh, Cody's getting Cody's up to no good. He was thinking about doing something to Rex, but then I distracted him. Oh, we got more poop in the kennel cage. Using throwaway towels now. Cheap cheap towels that aren't suitable for use out here anymore. But they're plenty suitable to be pooped on. Let's check your paws. What do you guys think? Paws clean? Yeah, they look clean. You guys are really getting dark. I think four weeks ago these kittens were almost white. Hey, Mom, I will pet you nice now. I'll be in a few hours to give them their midnight food. Hi, Cody. Okay, I'm going to step out now. My legs are getting stiff. This this area is really not that big. It's maybe two and a half times the size of this kennel area. So it's pretty deceptive. Just how much distance. Okay, I'm touching kennel cage, touching camera. So it's about, since I'm at an angle, I would say about five feet. From the camera to the kettle. Uh, let me just move that litter box to get that stinker out of there.
Cody propped himself up against my foot. At least I think it was Cody. Probably will have the, the AC on tomorrow. Well, it's probably going to get hot again. Or have my son turn it on. Or I'll do it when I get home. So the kitten's vet check will either be this coming Saturday or the following Saturday. I'm just getting confirmation of that. And then I will share it. Or post it anyway. That's what I mean by sharing. Be sure to thank the CC or Sonic Wind. CCing me is not an easy job because I tend to ramble like I'm doing now and I'm not taking much breaks between words. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.